followed by J.R. Hall. Amelia, thank you for coming. Welcome to House Education. Thank you. I will state off that I'm quite nervous, so I apologize for a few points. I've never done this before. My name is Amelia Brock, and I'm here as the mother of two middle school children. I am also here as a New Hampshire citizen who is tired of children in our country being murdered. In case some of you are unaware, I thought I should explain what current school procedures are for letting people in, because it seems like some people in here may not have been in a school in the last decade. Or, I didn't mean that to sound insulting, but... <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> During school hours, there is only one entrance open, and it is monitored. You must be buzzed into the school and sign in at the front desk with the receptionist. A receptionist who is not a detective, a receptionist who is trained in education and dealing with children. No detective or police experience whatsoever. During school events like plays and concerts, sporting events, evening events, the doors are left open and anyone is welcome to come in. People who aren't often in the school, extended relatives, friends that the staff might not know that only come for graduation. HB 564 is needed to give the receptionists, teachers, custodians, and all school staff the right to call the police if they see a weapon. I have heard from many people today that they are law-abiding citizens carrying guns, which I fully believe there are many law-abiding citizens carrying guns. But my question is, how will a school staff know if you are a law-abiding owner or someone intent to do harm? How will the staff know in a large school event who is a law-abiding gun owner and who is there <coughs> with malice? Staff need the ability to call the police as soon as a weapon is shown. I heard comments earlier today from a former representative and someone aligning themselves with an NRA that said people cause, get into a hysteria when they see a butt of a gun. Given the numerous mass shootings, and in particular school shootings, don't you think that school staff ought to have some hysteria or vigilance in when they see a weapon? I have heard comments today about gun-free signs do not stop criminals. On this, I would 100% agree. What they do is more important. They give the school the authority to call the police quickly and right away. They don't have to go off and say, oh, who is that person? I can't tell. Are they going to harm someone or not? <clears throat> I have heard today about the inconvenience of having to lock up your gun. Are you all aware? that in order for me as a parent to attend a field trip with my students, I must be inconvenienced to go to the district office, have a full background check, and get fingerprinted. But yet we do this because we care about our children, and we respect that policy because we care about our children. And inconvenience is not an infringement on your rights. I would hope as a society that we would value the safety of our children enough that a minor inconvenience would be deemed okay to protect our children. As a mother of school-aid children, and just a mother who cares about all children, I urge you to please pass this law so that school staff have the authority they need to act before <coughs> something happens and not wait for it to happen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Ms. Wait just a second. Are there any questions, Ms. Brock? I just want to check in with you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very nervous. But I, I, I want to. I, I just. I just want to make this point. Uh, not only for Ms. Brock, but for others that are the first time presenting. You know, we talk. This is the people's house. 
This is what we talk about. And for you all to come, regardless of what percep perception you bring or position you bring, this is what we call about the legislative process. And so for your being here the first time, congratulations. I hope you'll come back again. Because this was what makes this, process, this place work, is by having folks like you come for the first time, be nervous, but give your piece to us so we can have a chance to evaluate all the input that we're giving. So thanks for that. You did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'd like to now call uh, J.R. Hall, followed by Vicki Hopkins.